We're going to talk about various granular sampling techniques on the Electron Octatrack today. If you want to get some sounds kind of like this. From just a single sample. I like to remind myself that the Octatrack as capable as it is for a master sequencer and performance effects mixer and drum machine and sampler, it's also an instrument and it has a lot of sound shaping and sound design tools that make it really fun to just kind of play around with. We're going to work with a couple of guitar loops today. I have these sort of long form low key ambient loops that I layered together with these AB files. So what you're hearing now is part A overlaid with part B. So this is part A, and this is part B. And this is both. So I have loaded part A to track one and part B to track two. Let's start from scratch with part B. So what I'm gonna do is make sure that we have four pages set up. And then lay down trigs on every step. This is going to sound not great. It's going to sound like what you would expect it to sound like. So on the source page you have a start control that you can rotate. So why don't we give ourselves real-time granular control over that by setting a scene to have a value of 127 all the way on one side. So then we can slide through the entire sample. I've done something similar over here. Let me get rid of the effects so you can kind of hear that. And I've filtered some stuff, so let me undo that. But you'll see it sounds, you know, much cleaner and clearer with those removed. But this audio content is a little bit higher in the frequency spectrum than this. Also, let me change the pitch of that. So now we have both of these playing at the same time. I have track one sent to the right, or sorry, to the left. That'll send track two to the right. Let's get a hard pan just for fun. And you can scan through this. Let's get real hairy and turn up the retrig value and timing. So you can do this, for example, if you really want to push that granular sound. Up to some pretty unpleasant territory. Let's take this value here and add some delay. I take that back. Let's add some reverb. I like the dark reverb. I'm going to give ourselves a mix control. And we also want to send it to the right. So now we have a reverb on the right and our sound on the left. And let's do the same thing with track one. So give ourselves dark reverb, send it to the left. As you can see, I'm getting my left and right confused here. Track two is panned to the right, so we want to send the dark reverb to the left. Track one is panned to the left, so we want to send the dark reverb to the right. Hold on a minute. I indeed have my left and right output switched on the Octatrack, so forgive me for any left and right errors that come out of this, but you'll get the general gist of the idea. Um, I just rerouted some stuff in my studio and carelessly plopped the red cable on top there.
can basically scan through these green clouds that you've created and find some pretty fun sounds. Oh, also, I have this track playing backwards. Let's reverse track two instead. I kind of like the straight ahead more stuttery sounds. Uh, but let's go ahead and add some LFOs. So we're going to actually just apply an LFO to the start time of our first sample. But then we can move the relative position of that with the crossfader. And then keep two in the same spot. Let's take an LFO on sample two and send it to the dark reverb mix. Just to get some variance in that sound and pulse the panning a little bit too. I think this is a super fun way to play around with different samples and create spacious stretches of granularity. I want to take a minute to thank DistroKid for sponsoring this video. In case you're unaware, DistroKid is a digital music distribution platform. You can upload your songs and albums and have them distributed to all the streaming services you know. What you may not have known is that you can actually license cover songs through DistroKid. DistroKid makes it super simple to upload a cover of your favorite song and not worry about any of the legal issues. They handle all the licenses so you can just focus on getting it recorded and your standard upload process. A cover song can be a great way to keep making music that your listeners are going to want to engage with, but put a little twist on something that you already know and love. And if you already have a DistroKid membership, you can access this feature as long as you're uploading a track for $12 a year per song. DistroKid has a great support article that reviews this along with many other questions you might have on this process if you're interested. To initiate this process, all you have to do is check the Another Artist Wrote It box on the upload form in the cover song section. Like I mentioned, DistroKid will charge a fee of $12 per year, which is renewed annually to manage each cover song for you. This will enable them to obtain the license, pay the original songwriters, keep up to date on copyright laws, and even more. You can jump into these pages to find out more if you'd like to. It gets into the good legal stuff on copyright.gov. So if you've got any Christmas jingles you want to put a twist on and uh, throw some amen breaks over that, DistroKid's got you covered. Shall we add a drum track? And let's add a compressor too. Fun stuff like that. Again, super important to remember that these devices are super capable instruments and sound design tools that you can just sit down and do whatever you want with. This is supposed to be fun. You don't need to have 700 different inputs coming in and 600 different outputs going out and be doing backflips on stage with this thing all the time. Sometimes it's just nice to experiment. If for whatever reason you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, I'd advise you to go check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash slowhaste. There are some pretty basic perk tiers over there, but if you're interested, I do actually offer lessons on Octatrack, Digitone, Digitact, and basic songwriting using synths and sequencers and the like. If you're interested, definitely hit me up on Instagram, at slowhaste, and we can chat about it. Thanks so much as always for stopping by and checking out the video. I'll see you next time. Peace.